let's talk about letting go. I'm going to start with a case study with a story. This is my own experience within the last week. So I wanted to, to bring more money into my life. And for a moment, I admit I had a little, a little bit of stress, a little bit of anxiety around it because it's really easy to slip back into the story the belief that we have to do anything, that we have to work, that we have to fill our time in order to earn money. But what I realized for myself at least is that it's not even about believing that I need to work hard to make money. It was that I need to fill my time to deserve money. Anyway, so I had a moment where I realized, well, nothing's, nothing's real. You know, I'm not, I'm not really making money. I'm not really being paid by, by anyone. <laughs> it's, it really is representative. And th the only reason that it appears to come to me through physical means is because that's how it has to happen. So that it doesn't blow my tiny little mortal mind, right? <laughs> and so I let go. I let go of, of the need to have the money. Because this is, this is what I was talking about with my abundance video a little while ago. I want you to entertain the idea that you can live like a billionaire without money. What if... What if your superpower was, let's say luck. Let's say you're so lucky that you can, you can go anywhere you want. You can, you can holiday in exotic locations. You can have an expensive car, live in a mansion, but you get none of these things through the exchange of physical currency. You get them because you know someone or you're in the right place at the right time. You said yes to the most unlikely opportunity that somehow inexplicably led to exactly where you want to be. What if we lived that life? Well, I've got news for you. We do live that life. That is what we're experiencing right now. That is how it works. But sometimes when our own beliefs, our own view of the world and ourselves require it, we end up making money. And that is the way we get what we want. But if you start believing that you don't need to work hard, that you don't need to prove that you're working to, to deserve wealth, abundance. Sorry, there's like <laughs> constant roadworks out there. I don't know if you can hear that. But if you don't need to prove that you need to work hard or that you don't need to prove that you, that you deserve the money, then money will come, right? Or it won't. And you'll just get what you want in another way. So this is what happened to me. The moment I let go of the reliance on physical money and, and physical means of earning it. I swear to you guys, within two hours of that, I received an opportunity to make more money doing something I'm already doing in a place I'm already doing it. It can happen that God damn quickly. So we've talked about instant manifestation in the past and a lot of that is to do with the fact that we, we live in the moment, sorry, we, well, we do live in the moment. We should live in the moment, but we, we manifest in the moment, right? Because the moment is all that really exists. And the illusion that we see around us is actually the past. 
right? Remember the, the experience loops, we're right in the center there. That's where we have our control, where we make our choices. And the loops either side is, is, is the illusion of time, of the, is the illusion of us, of, of your desire coming around to the present moment that is always, because everything exists in one single point. We've talked about that, but also <laughs> when you truly let go, when you are unbound and you do not care the means in which you get what you want, it can happen so quickly. But you kind of need to not look at it, right? A watch pot never boils. That's the thing. It's like, um, what's that? What's that uh, Greek tale? Uh, Orpheus and Eurydice? I feel like I always pronounce that incorrectly. Um, but the whole point was he could, he could save his love from the underworld but he wasn't allowed to look back at her. So he went to the underworld, struck a deal with Hades or whatever it was. I'm paraphrasing and butchering the story, but this is the gist of it. Goes to the underworld, st struck a deal with Hades. Hades is like, all right, cool. You can take her back to the mortal realm, back to the world of the living, and she's gonna follow you all the way up there, but you have to trust that she's behind you. The moment you look back to check that she's still there, that's it. She comes back to the underworld. <laughs> and the poor bastard couldn't control himself. He looked back and he lost her. Stories like this exist to give us clues, to tell us how the universe works, how we work. Now, don't worry, it's not as dire as that. You can't permanently lose anything. But you can't, you can't watch it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh give you an analogy here that I hope will make it a little bit clearer. So if we picture all possibilities, everything we could possibly want as a swirling vortex around us that eventually comes in, eventually everything you want will converge into the center point that is you. What we tend to do is we go, oh, I want that. And we grab hold of it. But now it can't come around. Now it can't actually reach us. It's stuck there. This is why we get stuck. Because we attach to the specifics of what we want. We attach to just attaching to what you want at all. It gets stuck. And it can't make its way around the vo vortex to you. So you have to let it go. When you set something free, if it was meant to be, it'll come back to you. I always butcher that phrase, but it's true. <laughs> it's how it works. So I want you to practice. Here's, here's a practical, practical aspect of it. This is your homework. I want you to practice adopting the mindset that no matter what, everything will work out because I promise you, I'm not gassing you up. This isn't some bullshit to sell you anything or to get views. I promise you that if you trust truly, it will come to you. The more unbound you are, the more free you are, the more light you are. Light as in not weighed down, you know, floating free, the quicker it will come. As always, take what resonates and discard the rest.